Donald Trump has always set the gold standard literally for life at the top. His $100 million tri-level penthouse is inspired by Versailles with a palatial living room, imported crystal chandeliers, hand-painted ceilings trimmed in gold leaf. It has sweeping views of New York City from every side. You have said that success is a kind of drug and it's too powerful for most people to handle. How do you handle success? Well, a lot of people can't handle success. I've seen it. A lot of people can't win. They don't know how to win. You see it in sports where they're right on the threshold of win and then they can't get it over the line. It's an amazing thing. Winning is, is tough. I always said winning is somewhat maybe innate. Maybe it's just something you have. You know, you have the winning gene, but I've seen it. I've seen great talent, both in business and lots of other things. They should be able to do it and they can't get the ball over the line. You are a winner? I think so. I mean, <laughs> I'm I think. looking around. Yeah, there's a lot of, I think there's so. a lot of gold I think here. You're done pretty in, well, in that right? Sense. He shares this palace in the sky with his beautiful and graceful wife, Melania. Hello. Hello. We have. She has been mostly absent from the campaign trail until tonight. You too. Come you join too. us. Mrs. Trump, it's a pleasure to see you, and we don't see you that often. You're not on the campaign trail. How do you feel about campaigning? Well, it's my choice not to be there. I support my husband 100%, but we have a nine-year-old son together, a baron, and I'm raising him, and this is the age he needs a parent at home. Were you involved in the decision of your husband to become president? We discuss a lot, yes, and uh, I encourage him. And you I, did? You I encourage, encourage him, him because I know what he will do and what he can do for America. He loves the American people, and he wants to help them. Melania and her husband met at a party in 1998, where she caught the eye of the flirtatious Donald Trump. He came up to you, you rebuffed him, yeah? What was your first impression of Donald Trump? Well, he was very charming, and uh, he, we had a great sparkle. Uh, he came with a date, so he asked me for the number, and I said, I will not give you my number. So if you give me your numbers, I will, um, I will call you. Uh, and he was known as kind of a ladies' man. And, uh, but we had, <laughs> we met uh, a, f a week later. And then it was okay? Yes, we had the great chemistry the first time. We've had great chemistry ever since. Before she was Melania Trump, she was Melania Knaus, born 45 years ago in a small industrial town in Slovenia, when it was still part of Yugoslavia. Melania, a natural beauty, was also a bookworm. She went to university and was studying architecture when she was discovered by a major fashion photographer when she was just 17. Soon after, she left school and Slovenia for New York City. Who would imagine that the quiet girl from Slovenia would end up the wife of a mega billionaire? Their relationship made international news, not just because it was a May-December romance, he is 24 years older, but because of Donald's previous two high-profile marriages and even higher-profile divorces. Are you following the Trump thing? You can't miss it. The latest dispatch from the front in the battle of Trump versus Trump. It's a front-page fiasco of lovers, lawyers, and large settlements. The first, a 13-year-old marriage to the stunning Czech model, Ivana Zelenkova, and the second to actress Mala Maples. At last, they are Mr. and Mrs. Trump. I give it four months. Actually, it lasted just under four years. But today, it seems the third time is indeed the charm. It's been 10 years since Donald and Melania said, I do, in a lavish affair at Trump's Mar-a-Lago estate in Florida. One year later, they welcomed a son, Baron, who is now nine. This is your third marriage. What's different this time? Well, I think I understand life. I've gone through uh, tremendous amounts of everything, deals and building companies and taking care of How people. How does that help marriage? Well, it hurts marriage because you're working all the time. What I did is I worked so hard that I think it was a very, very hard thing for somebody to compete with. Your husband has been married twice before. Did you have any concerns that it might not work out? No, I didn't have any concerns. Uh, we have a great chemistry, 
and to be with the man as my husband is uh, you need to know who you are you need to have a very independent life as well and supporting him you need to be very smart and quick and be there for him when he needs you is yours a marriage of equals I would say yes I would say no no I think she's far greater than the 50 percent <laughs> no I, I we have we have a very very pretty much equal relationship yes. wouldn't you say Melania, how do you do? How do you do? But if the Trumps win the White House, Melania will have two noteworthy distinctions. The first foreign-born first lady since John Quincy Adams' wife, Louisa, and the first first lady to have posed in a picture like this. I don't know how to put this, but your image looking the way you do, is that a liability for your husband? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think people will always judge. Maybe they will say, oh, the past that you have, the way you were modeling. That's part of the job that I was doing. I was a very successful model. And I did some photo shoots. Uh, yes, they were a li little risky, but nothing more than you see every year in Sport Illustrated. She was actually in Sports Illustrated, which I just saw that picture the other day. It was beautiful. But I will say this, if I'm lucky enough to win. The public will be so lucky to have Melania as the first lady. She will be so beautiful and elegant and good from the heart. She will be a fabulous first lady. First ladies are expected to have a cause. If you have a cause, what would it be? I'm very involved in charities now, many, many charities, involving children, involving uh, many different diseases and I will, you know, when, if the time comes, I will choose what is dearest to my heart and um, work on that 100%. Do you give your husband any advice on the debates? We discuss, I tell him my opinions. Give me an example of a piece of advice that you've given your husband that he has taken. I will keep it private. <laughs> well, she's told me, I and mean, I can tell you, she's told me a couple of times during the debate, she was very happy with my performances, if you want to call them a performance, but she said you could tone it down a little bit on occasion, which I understand. In the center of the stage tonight, businessman Donald Trump. And speaking of tone, I wondered if Melania had ever taken her husband to task on his tone toward women on the campaign trail. Did he make a derogatory comment attacking Carly Fiorina? Insulting the way she looked. He said, look at that face. Would anyone vote for that? I think women all over this country heard very clearly what Mr. Trump said. You know, your husband has come under fire here and there for making disparaging remarks about women. Does this bother you? It doesn't bother me. He treats everybody the same. He talked about men as well, not about the women only. Maybe they just uh, go into a little bit more details when he says something about women. While Melania laments the amount of time campaigning costs their marriage, the couple insist that at heart, they're homebodies. When he comes home, we spend time together, two of us, or two of us and Baron. Just be at home, because that's a really quality time together. And why not, when for now, home is this lavish penthouse apartment, not Pennsylvania Avenue. For many, the White House is a step up. I am looking around this room. The White House might be a step down. <laughs> the White House is the White House. It's just a, a spectacular place. And, you know, it's uh, something that represents something very special. Mm -hmm.